In September 1939, the German Reich and Soviet Union invaded Poland, launching the Second World War. The invasion led to staggering loss of life. Throughout the war, nearly 6 million Polish citizens, 3 million of them Jews, perished. In occupied Poland, the Germans introduced capital punishment for every form of assistance to the Jewish population. Anna Niepsuj of Klikowa was a mother of eight. She was killed on her farm by Germans for hiding the Kurtz family, a Jewish husband and wife. On 9 of April 1943 in Klikowa, now part of the city of Tarnów, her six-year-old daughter Maria was a witness to the tragedy. The genesis of this crime has to do with the German operation launched a year earlier to exterminate the Jewish population in the general government. In 1942, Tarnów was the largest concentration of Jewish population in the Kraków district. Its Jewish population was around 40,000 people. In June of that year, the first deportation operations to the Belzec death camp were carried out. On orders from the Germans, Jewish residents of Tarnów had to register and had their work cards stamped. In total, about 8,000 Jews were deported from Tarnów to the Belgian's death camp in June 1942. On the other hand, all those deemed unfit for transport, the elderly, the sick, the crippled, and mothers with small children, some 8,000 people, were slaughtered in the Jewish cemetery and nearby forests. Subsequent actions carried out in Tarnów were also extremely violent. Most likely in October 1942, the Kurds couple, who lived in Tarnów at Asneka Street, found shelter in the Niepsuj home in nearby Klikowa. Anna and Jan Niepsuj owned a farm of about nine acres. Anna was in charge of running the farm and Jan was a railroad worker. They had eight children. The family lived in a wooden house. One part of the building housed a barn and a box room, while the rest of the building contained a kitchen, a room and a hallway. The house had a tiled roof. Next to it was a barn. The Kurtz couple hid in a planked and hay-lined hideout in the attic. At night, the Jews would go down to the kitchen. On 9 of April 1943, a car carrying German policemen and an unknown civilian arrived near Anna Niepsuj's farm. According to some witnesses, upon arrival, the civilian walked away from the car towards the nearby farmland and did not participate in any further action. His task was to point out the farm the policemen were looking for. In the house, at the time, were Anna Niepsuj, her six years old daughter Maria, and the court's couple. Anna's husband was at work. Some of the siblings were with her grandparents, while others were doing various farm activities. The policemen conducted a search of the house and found the place where the Jews were hiding. They shot the Jews in the hallway. Next, according to Maria's account, they yield at her mother to go to the barn. After leaving the house, Anna Niepsu was shot in the yard. Her daughter hid under the bed, which may have been the reason why she survived. After the action in Klikowa, the Germans ordered the local village mayor to bury the corpses. Their bodies wrapped in sheets were taken by horse-drawn wagon to the local cemetery, where they were placed in a grave without coffins. According to the post-war testimony of one's witnesses, the Jewish woman who was shot was in an advanced stage of pregnancy. Jan Niepsuj learned of his wife's murder from one of his sons while he was at work. He did not return home again. Fearing for his life, he made a decision to go into hiding himself. After some time, under a false name, he was sent to forced labor in the German Reich. 
The children of Anna Niepsu were separated. Maria was taken by her aunt Anna Przybysz to Lviv, and her older siblings, as she recalled, went to serve to strangers on local farms. The youngest boy was taken in by his grandmother. It was only after the war ended that Jan Niepsu was able to return to his children's house and create a new life for them. Historians estimate that during World War II, Poles rescued tens of thousands of their fellow citizens of Jewish origin. The German occupiers killed about 1,000 Polish rescuers.